Hi everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you some simple foiling with digital stamps. Now the stamp I'm using today is one that is designed and drawn by me and I am so excited that this is for sale over in the Joy Claire stamp shop. There's also another jelly bean background and then there's also a succulent stamp set as well. So I will leave a link to that down below in the description box as well as all the other supplies I'm using today. Now what you see is exactly what you get whenever you buy this stamp. You get this download and then you print it off with a laser printer if you want to do foiling. Foiling with your reactive foil sheets has to be done with a laser toner printer. If you don't have a laser toner printer and you have a copier toner, you can print it off and then just copy it. Um, I use a more expensive one now, but I also have used a Brother Laser Monochrome, so it's just black and white printer for years, and it works wonderful. And actually, that one takes a lot thicker cardstock than the one I currently use. I will leave what I use now and also the Brother that is um, much cheaper down below in the description box. You can buy them both on Amazon. This is also a great one for coloring, so if you just want to print it off in color, that's great too. First thing I'm doing is just going to trim this out. Now, you do not have to trim this out like I am here. I just did it in the center of the paper just for fun because that's what I do these days <laughs> to make my life a bit more interesting since we can't leave the house. But once that is printed off it is time and trimmed out, it is time to go ahead and add our foil. There are two kinds of foil that I use. The iCraft Deco Foil, and then there's also the Heidi Swap Mink Foil. I'm using the Mink Foil today, but being 100% honest, it's not my favorite. I like the Deco Foil much better. It's thicker. It just works better in my opinion, but I had the color I wanted in the Mink Foil, so that's what I'll be using today. The They're both about the same amount in each package. However, the Mink is on one long roll. The deco foil comes in five sheets, which I also like better. Um, it lays out flatter a lot easier that way, in my opinion. But again, this is just personal preference. It's also thicker. So just giving you the differences and my 100% honest opinion here. Now, I also think the deco foil does a better job foiling, too, just because of the weight of it, maybe. It just works a lot better for me. But what you want to do is take that toner printed sheet, put it with the toner facing up, and then your foil with the shiny side up. You want that silver dull side facing the toner. That's the reactive part. That's the part that's going to stick to your foil. Then put it in a carrier sheet, whether that be one of the mink carrier sheets. You can use a piece of parchment folded in half like I'm using here. You can use a piece of computer paper folded in half. Put your sandwich in there. With this 6x6, six six, it's going to hang out a little bit. That's okay. Now I'm going to put it through my laminator. You can also use a mink machine. I have mine set to the hottest, and then I'm just going to feed it through folded side first. If you go with the other side first where the two edges meet, it's going to get stuck in your printer, or not in your printer, in your laminator. I've done it a hundred times. It gets stuck. It gets jammed. Go with the folded side first. You also want to make sure that your laminator is nice and hot before you send it through. So even when my laminator says it's ready, I still give this a good like 15-20 minutes to heat up and get nice and hot before I even attempt to put this through. Then once it goes through once one way, I flip it 180 degrees and send it through again. That's just so I know that everything is nice and stuck and secure. Then I let it cool and I can pull off that um, foil. Now, I love the way this turned out. It did have some spots. Like I said, I just think the deco foil works a little bit better in my opinion. And it ends up where you can use the negative space. I don't know, negative, positive, whatever, the leftover foil. You can use that on a card as well. This gets a little wrinkly, so it's not the best to reuse. Now, I want to go ahead and trim this down to four and a quarter by five and a half. I have that little extra piece I can keep and use on another project. I just want that full A2 size background to attach to a card. 
I also went ahead and die cut an oval that I will be stamping my sentiment onto. I'm using that Joy Claire stamp, stamp set you've just seen, the Easter Blessing stamp set, and I will be stamping Spring Greetings. I love the large sentiments along with the smaller ones, so you can kind of mix and match and build your own sentiments. Plus, those little rabbits are adorable in this set. I have used this set on another card. I will link that video in the top right-hand corner. And now that I think of it, that was actually digitally printed um, card components on that card too. So kind of interesting there. Anyway, I went ahead and stamped that greeting down with some VersaFine Claire in Pinecone onto that oval with my Misty. And then that is ready to go onto my card. Now it's time to put everything together. I'm going to go ahead and mount on that A2 panel that I cut out with my foiled background. And I will go ahead and add that onto the A2 side folding card base that I will be using horizontally. I like to use liquid glue for that little bit of playtime just to make sure everything's nice and lined up. Then I can go ahead and add on my sentiment, which is that die cut oval. And just to add a little bit of shadow behind it and separate it from that background, I did pop it up with some foam adhesive to completely finish this very simple card. Now the pictures are a little meh because you can't see the real shine of the foil and that's the beauty of this project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a look at how easy it is to foil your digital stamps. Don't forget to go check out all those stamps that are over for sale in the Joy Claire stamp shop that are designed by me. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching everyone and happy crafting.